Hello, this is Kaju. I have to. I'm here to show you some uh, Blizzard merchandise. We've got the cute but deadly series two figures. Uh, this is the second iteration of their figurine blind box set. Uh, the first one was a big success, so they decided to make a second series. Uh, as you can see, they they show at the box here all the possible figurines you can get. They're pretty much very similar to Nentoroids, very small, very caricature, very chibi-like. And uh, something that I've noticed that's a lot better than Series 1, it actually tells you the odds of getting each figurines in the box. Back then in Series 1, it didn't really tell, so it was uh, very random as to what are the chances of you getting a Ghost Arthas figurine. So now it actually says you have a 1 in 12 chance of getting each of them. So let's let's open them up and see if we can get one of each. Alright. Yeah, so what do we have here? What do we have here? Oh my goodness, it comes in a nice oh, foil. It's foil too. It's foil too. It's like I'm opening a bag of It's like a bag of cookies. This bag, come on. Grab this. Grab this. I want to damage it. There's supposed to be a cup. There it is. Follow it. Okay, I broke it! Oh, I have like technical difficulties already. I broke the foil! Oh, wow, well. <clears throat> yeah, there we go, alright! Let's see who is it. Number one. Oh, we've got Barbarian! The, the barbs. male Barbarian. I like that. Let's see. <laughs> and the ultimate test can he stand on his own? Yes, he can! It, all figurines come with a platform. Some of them can stand better than others. I actually wonder if they did the. Uh... The series one Sylvanas was one of the notorious ones because of how because of the weight distribution, she tends to fall flat on her face without the platform. This is really funny to watch. The Diablo one as well needs a platform because he's basically tilting sideways. And we've got Rainer! Alright! Oh, it even comes with his gun too. Oh gun, okay. Although I I wish there's an option where you can remove his, the visor so you can yeah, see, see his, his face, face yeah. but I guess his he doesn't want not, to. Not he doesn't want to show himself. His blade's not straight. It's, it's curved. I think that's meant to be. Oh, is it? Even in the heroes of the Sun oh, yeah. uh, model, it's curved. All right, so far so good. We've got two different figurines. Uh, because there's randomness involved in this uh, product, uh, you can expect to have duplicates. So far, none. And we've got oh, ooh Nova. Nova. Oh, 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 oh my God! It's, a, it's got a plastic casing. Oh God! Maybe you shouldn't remove it. All right. We got Nova in a plastic casing. Must Nova in a plastic casing that must remain pristine. Special edition, probably because she probably falls over. That ponytail is huge. Well, because her her legs are pretty small. Yeah. Okay. So she she's the why. she's the Sylvanas of this series, where if you don't have a platform, she'll probably just fall Does flat. Sylvanas have the cover like that. No. Uh, Actually, that's one thing I noticed. Um, they've got cover plastic covers to cover certain parts of the figurines. What's like that for? this is for Rainer's gun. Oh. Okay. So in series one, they didn't have any of this. So now they actually put more protection. Wonder. They are susceptible to bending. Um, that's also why they recommend. Uh, that's why they recommend the age. Oh, the rainer. Oh, there we go. We've got duplicates. Two ray rays. Oh. Two ray rays. Um, that's also one thing. It says age is 15 plus. As cute as this is, I would not recommend this. I would not recommend this to small children. Number one, uh, these are pretty fragile. They can easily break if you're, if, you know, if you're a kid and you're reckless with it. And also, in series one, it really emphasizes that it must be 15 plus because they have small chokeable parts. Like Arthas' Frostmourne sword. You don't want your child eating that. Oh, well, another barbarian. No, no, another no, barbarian. Oh. So far, this isn't turning out so well, actually. Wow, we got two duplas now. And this barbarian is so uh, lovely. Things are not looking up at the moment, but uh... well, if we have duplicate novas, it's not so bad because we have a lot of people that are requesting for novas. Yeah, but not these ones. I'm pretty sure they can find a home. All right. And the cool thing about these is that uh, they're exclusive to the Blizzard. So oh, oh we got Tracer! Yeah, that's oh that's my goodness, she is so oh, awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Now I know that's why she's in the plastic cover. Yep. Okay, Tracer, Tracer, Tracer can't stand on her own. She are you sure? Is. Look how tiny her legs are. I'm worried about her. Oh. oh, no wonder she has a thing on her back. Okay, that's why she's got the whizzing this... thing on her back. Because I don't know what <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Otherwise, special effects. Otherwise, she can't stand on her own if they didn't put that. She'll she'll Forms. run into some balance issues. So you're a major so fall risk, still. Tracer. You're a major fall risk. Okay, um, Tracer is another one of the figurines that are high in demand. A lot of people are requesting for some Tracer figurines. Yeah. So if we get some duplicates, that is all the better. Yeah, all the better. So now we've got two, four, six. We're halfway through our boxes. So as you can see, if you want to get them all, you're most likely going to have to buy quite a bit of boxes. Oh, another Tracer! There you go, another yeah. Tracer. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, and she keeps falling. They keep falling. She um, blinks too fast. Uh, oh. Oh wicked. no! Oh no! Wicked! Oh, this one is slightly different, the, the orientation of her uh -oh. zippy line. Uh oh. Okay, this tracer is disabled. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe we should put her in a stand. <laughs> you can try, yeah. The, hopefully, the stand will help substantially. Um, which I it's find. Time to test the stand, does. actually. Uh, this one test out the stand! Person. Help out this poor tracer. Open plastic things. Oh. All right. Having problems. So we've got seven opened already. Here's our eight. eight. Let's see. Oh, it's Farrah. Farrah. That's a rare one. I'm noticing a trend here. Oh, the series two figurines have more Overwatch. skinnier legs and more like top-heavy designs. So platforms are very important. Can she stand? Uh, yes, with the help of her back wings. I actually am looking forward to getting a Nubis Pharah. Nubis Pharah looks cool. There's actually a Nubis Pharah here? Yes! You can get uh, a variant of Pharah where she's in an Anubis and skin. Goblins. Black and gold, and there's two variants of the Treasure Goblin. I don't mind getting a Taranda as well. Well, the Bastion's pretty cute too. Alright. So far, it's not that bad. We've got quite a variety. A couple duplicates here and there. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, we got another Pharah. Uh, we've got a couple people that also want Pharah. So this thing doesn't something. stand well. Uh, Interesting. Alright, okay, there we go. Ooh, ooh. Two Pharahs, two Tracers, two Barbarians. We're, okay, so far everything's coming in pairs. Except for no Lonely Nova. Okay, here we go. Does it not like stick to it? Um, so how it you see these pegs? Yeah. You're supposed to fit the pegs onto the character, typically their legs. Yeah. Like that, right? Yes, that's how it works. Um, if it doesn't fit, you're pro it's probably backwards. I have to say, this series too has a much uh, stronger distribution of Overwatch characters than the previous series. The previous series was more evenly distributed. It had oh, yeah. Starcraft, some Warcraft, and some Diablo characters. This one is more heavily yeah, towards that. Overwatch. Yeah. Oh, we got our first okay. treasure goblin. So this is the regular treasure goblin. There's oh, another okay. one, which is the rainbow treasure goblin. Oh, okay. You'll see it because his loot bag is all rainbows and sunshine. Okay, okay. we've opened 10, we've got two more to go. How many do we have? Uh, how many we, the collection we, have a total of, we have a total of 12 boxes. Um, and there's 12 different figurines in the series. Okay. So in theory, if there is no random yeah. involved, you should be able to get one of each. Especially if you can pick and choose. Oh, Unfortunately, you can't pick and choose your characters. It's completely blind. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go, Lo Nova is not lonely anymore. <laughs> And, and for some reason, this one doesn't. Oh wait, plastic. wait! If you aim it properly, her ponytail can act as a support. Yeah. You see that little tip? There you go. Yeah, probably because of the. Uh, All right, we've got the final box. Oh dear. Oh. Give us something nice. Is it gonna be a Tarande? Gonna be Tarande. Uh, Tarande. Did you just call Tarande? Tarande. 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 Oh, there's also an Illidan too in this series, so for those Legion fans, you can get yourself a cute, deadly Illidan. Actually, those don't have World of Warcraft character here. You could use one. You're right, we could use one. And we got uh, another Goblin! This is worse. As you can see, that's you cannot Diablo guarantee to get the figurines you wanted. I was really hoping for a Tarande, but I, was I, will, any World of Warcraft. I am sa I, I, I'm satisfied with getting Farah. How many World Farrah. Warcraft characters are there? Three? There are... Four. Or oh, three. there's only two. Oh, that's why. It's only Illidan and Tarande, so yeah. the probability of you getting one is quite low. Yeah. As you can see, it's mostly Overwatch. We got all the Starcraft, though. And the uh, Diablo, except for the Rainbow. Yes, you're right. And we didn't get dad. So we got music. Oh, no dad. Yeah, otherwise we would have gotten almost all of the Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> Bastion too. 
<laughs> Bastion. Bastion wasn't here at so all. So it's not really looking good actually. We have quite a lot of duplas there. So you can see a pattern. No one's lonely here. Yes, no one is lonely. They're oh, all right. a pair. Oh my goodness. They're all a pair. Oh my They're goodness. all a couple. It's like they were destined to be together. Yes, I think this is uh, whoever picked up these uh, random boxes or... Uh, they, they had a feeling. They said that, oh, you know, uh, Tracer's gonna be lonely by herself in this box. Let's put it under Tracer. That's probably uh, what happened. Alright, so, uh, I, would, I would say <clears throat> the, well, qu the quality is great. Yeah, 12. Actually, it's not bad because if you, since we have duplas, we can trade at least one of each for the ones that we're missing. Since these are six of them, I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have six, so we can trade at least one of each for another six of the ones that we don't have, and we can complete the set. That is the point of these <coughs> blind figurines. Uh, just like pin trading, um, these figurines are primarily meant to be traded with fans so that you can complete your collection. Of course, uh, depending on the figurines, some will be more sought after than others. Hint, hint, probably Tracer and Nova. Okay. All right, so that concludes our Cute But Deadly Series 2 blind box figures. I'm really hoping they make a Series 3 if they're successful enough and hopefully add pa Alarak or Artanis. I, I'm here's hoping. And so now, on to our next part. We've also got the Series 3 pin packs. So every year at BlizzCon, they have a series of collectible pins that you can buy. Just like the blind figurines, they're random. Uh, usually if you go in eBay, the gold pins can fetch quite a hefty price. Alright, let's have a look here. Oh, it's even covered. Oh, so we've got Reinhardt, our first one. Wow, so there's stuff here. Reinhardt. Really nice. It's of a pretty good quality. It's quite hefty, and um, I like the colors. It's quite really heavy pops. for its size, actually. It is quite heavy. All right, we've so got another right. one. <clears throat> we've got Rainer? a marine. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, that's not Rainer. It's marine. Okay. It's a marine. You'll know it's Rainer it's because he's got that that distinct uh, Rainer's Raiders uh, marine oh, okay. suit. We've got marine. We've got Reinhardt. <clears throat> And you can also use this to trade for the pins you want. So if you ever go into BlizzCon, there are stations that are meant for trading. We've got oh. Chen. Oh. Pandaria. Pandarians. He somehow looks more badass here, actually. <laughs> well, they have to. It's a pin. It doesn't seem as, 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 as fat as the one in the Heroes. Well, maybe that is the generic Pandarian unit for World of Warcraft. Yeah. I mean, he seems less, he seems more sober. That's probably why he does that. Tarande in her priestess uh, outfit too. Oh, someone's gonna want that one. Priestess, let's see. I, I like, I like that one. I actually might want to keep that. Yeah, that's a nice one. I think it's pretty. And we've got the, I believe this is the innkeeper from Hearthstone. I believe. That, yes, it yeah, is. That is oh, the innkeeper. He has the Hearthstone card. So. Yep. <laughs> In case you are not. So, we have no duplicates, so that's good. Yes, so huh? we are there. We've got a total of six. And how many are there in the. I six. believe there's quite a lot, actually. Maybe about a dozen. It's almost the same as the blind figures. There's about a dozen of them. <laughs> and th th technically, there's probably more than that because each pin has a gold variant. Actually, the chances are pretty good so far because we don't have duplicates. And we already got opening the six in. Oh, we've got a gold! Ooh. This is gold Tarande. So, this one, these are quite rare. Um, it's kind of like opening a mythic rare in a booster pack if you play Magic the Gathering. So, um, you can either choose oh, wow. to really keep it, or you can use it as a powerful bargaining tool to trade for that sweet, sweet pin that you've been looking for. Maybe I might get that Zeratul pin once and for all. Yeah. Once so and for all. Wow, it's, it's very pretty too, it's oh, got wow. a very nice sheen. I think we can even put a see, put it side by side. side by side. This is a regular, and we've got the gold. There you have it. These are the uh, 2016 uh, like cute but deadly uh, figurine sets, and also the series three pins. Um, they were available for uh, member for basically they were available for people who bought the virtual ticket for BlizzCon and got early sale, or if you were physically at BlizzCon. So um, hopefully these figurines will be on sale at the Blizzard store in the future, which they did for series one. But in the meantime, we'll just have to wait. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.